Another month has passed and we have yet another Lightroom Classic update. And while it doesn't look like it's big, it can actually dramatically improve your workflow, like even like by two times. And it will especially be crucial to those of you who import full weddings or full events into Lightroom. So let's go over these improvements. First of all, my name is Magic. I'm a destination wedding photographer. And here on YouTube, I'm covering topics around wedding photography, gear, editing, anything that might be useful to improve your wedding photography game specifically. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe. The Lightroom Classic update version we're updating to, it's 14.5. It's called August update. The list of improvements, as I said, it, it isn't big. We have only kind of two news and one speed improvement. So going from the least interesting, it's around last month new feature distraction removal, which is actually a great feature. And I have been using it for editing my wedding photos for the past month. For those of you who are not familiar, it will automatically detect people that are distracting in your frame. And you can simply generatively wipe them out. Like in this image from our Iceland wedding workshop, we have some people in the background on the left side in the frame and Lightroom automatically detects them and selects them. It even selected person I have not noticed on the right behind the rock. I, I thought it was just a rock. So great job Lightroom, I guess. So apparently this feature is faster now. For me, it's hard to tell. I still waited a bit for the result, but if you have a lot of people in the background, it's probably faster and it's always worth trying that feature. Then we have a new custom subset in copy, paste, and sync edits settings. For those of you who edit a lot in batches or edit one image and then apply the look to the bunch of similar images, th like that can come really handy. So copy paste settings, for those of you who are not familiar with this one, it lets you simply copy edits from one image and then apply to a set of images. So far, you could either select all of the settings to be copied or none of the settings to be copied and then manually select or deselect specific settings. Now you can save it as a preset. So in my case, I will often copy some settings and like usually I will deselect the crop because the crop is individual per image. But then when I am changing these settings, I always need to go back and manually change everything back and forth. So now it's as easy as saving and naming your settings and you can use them either here in the copy paste menu or in the sync menu as well. So that could be a little time saver for for those of you who are batch editors. If you want to learn more about how I edit my wedding photos and you like the colors you see, I recommend checking out my Magic Adabra preset pack with Editing Masterclass. And then if you like those Iceland meets wedding photography vibes, come with me to Iceland. I'm hosting a retreat this October and I'll link both things in the description below. Okay, now the biggest time saver. Lightroom now uses GPU, so your graphic card to generate previews. Oh my God. Finally, if you're importing full weddings, few thousands images to Lightroom and you build previews, it's taking forever. So in my case, this is the previous version of the Lightroom. I'm importing 1000 photos, only 1000. So that's not a full wedding. It took 10 minutes and 33 seconds to build smart previews and five minutes and 34 seconds to build standard previews. Now new, 14.5 Lightroom with the same set of images took nine minutes and 37 seconds building smart previews and only two minutes and 45 seconds building standard previews. And that's all on my good old MacBook Pro M1 Max. So it's a four year old computer. For those of you with custom PCs or some newer Macs with better GPU chips, we'll probably see even bigger difference. And while smart preview generation wasn't that much faster, we shaved only one minute out of 10, generating standard previews took half of that time. So if you're generating standard or one by one previews, you're gonna literally save a lot of time. You only need to make sure to have it set to use GPU for generating previews. So go to your Lightroom settings, performance tab, and set it there, and then you're good to go. And now if you want to watch me editing full wedding under four hours, check out this video right here and I will see you there.